Today I want to talk about the power of a military schedule, right? That might seem scary, that might seem like you're imprisoned into this timetable that you set for yourself, but it is the ultimate way to manage your time, especially if you don't have anything else to look forward to in the day. No, no work to go to, no school to go to. You just, maybe you're self-employed, maybe you'll have your own business, especially the case then. But even if you're at school, right, what do you do? when you come home from school? What do you do when you come home from work, right? What is, how is the way that you schedule your time and how is that gonna help you, right? Because the default right now for most people is that they don't plan their days out. They don't really do anything to help themselves be organized in the day. They default to little things that fill up your time, right? Little things that become big things, right? Like scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through TikTok, where five minutes on the toilet becomes half an hour, one hour, two hours on the toilet, and you haven't wiped yet, right? It's crazy. It's crazy how much time we can spend doing absolutely nothing or achieving absolutely nothing. It's incredibly mind-blowing when you look at the screen time on your phone and you think, oh my goodness, I've spent 10 hours on my phone today, right? And I haven't even gone to bed yet, right? It's, it's, it's that bad for some people, right? And even if it is five hours, four hours, that much time on your phone? Come on now, like reassess what you're doing with your time, right? And so the best way to get around this is to set yourself a timetable of things that you need to do in the day. Right? and follow it mercilessly, without any exception. And here's why that's important, right? Usually people set a plan in the day, they're like, oh, I've got to do this, and maybe I can do that afterwards and do that afterwards. And they let things get in the way, and they let things creep up and give themselves excuses like scrolling on their phone. Like, oh, I'm just gonna sit down and scroll on my phone for a bit, and that'll be fine, right? But when are you ever proud of that fact that you've done that? When are you ever thinking, oh, I'm so glad I've spent two hours scrolling through Instagram right now. I'm so glad I spent three hours on TikTok. Such a positive use of my time, right? Every time you do something that's unintended, unplanned, it's usually something that you're not super proud of. You're not super like, oh yeah, I'm glad I've done that, right? It's all about the plan. You have to surrender yourself to that plan in your mind. Surrender yourself to that version of yourself that wants the best out of you. That version of yourself that the night before you're thinking, I've got to wake up at 5 a.m. That's the part of you that you've got to surrender yourself to. Because the part of you in the morning that wakes up at 5 a.m. to the alarm doesn't want to get up, right? But you, you kind of got to be a slave to your high consciousness there. You got to look at yourself and think, okay, I plan to do this. So I'm just going to surrender myself to the plan, right? And I know these words seem negative to you, for a lot of you, right? Oh, surrender to the plan, you know, be a slave to the schedule whatever it is, right? But this makes life a lot easier to live, right? When you don't have to think about what to do next, right? Because the, the alternative is, oh, oh I've got to, I'll, I'll wake up at five and I'm like, okay, what do I do now? What's gonna go on here? What's gonna happen, right? You don't know. And when you don't know, that's when these activities creep in. That's when you start scrolling. That's when you just fill your time with meaningless tasks that don't mean anything, that don't achieve anything, right? When you have that schedule planned already, right? Wherever it is, on a calendar, digital, physical, whatever it is, a timetable they've written out, whatever it is, right? You no longer have to think at all. Right? You're not thinking, what do I do now? Like, oh, what's a good thing that I might be able to do now, right? You just do the thing, 
you're like, okay, what's next on the schedule? No matter how tired, no matter how lazy you feel, you're like, okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'll just do it, right? You just do it, no matter what it is, right? It's so much easier. Thinking about what to do drains your willpower, right? So just doing it saves yourself the energy, saves yourself the time and of thinking about doing this kind of thing, right? Like, for example, every day I go to the gym at 6 p.m. On the dot, I'm like at my laptop doing work, whatever I'm doing. At 6 p.m., I'm like, I've got to go to the gym, right? I know every single day, right? I'm never, ever thinking to myself, oh, I, I, I should probably go to the gym at some point this week, right? Oh, I feel a bit lazy. I feel a bit tired. Uh, maybe, you know, I could rest my legs a bit because I did a big leg day yesterday. I don't think about it at all. I go to the gym. And then I'm like, okay, what can I do today, right? Legs are tired, I can probably do arms, right? There's no thought in my brain, there's nothing. It's just as easy as, oh, it's 6 p.m. Get ready, jump in the car, go gym, that's it. That's all I do, right? It's as easy as that. It's a click in the mind. It clicks in place. So if I can make everything in my schedule, just like that, then that's the ideal situation I could be in, right? It's like waking up, right? 5 a.m., I've, I've just got to wake up. That's all I've got to do, right? What's next? I've got a journal. Okay, I'll, I'll journal for that time. And then I've got to walk my dog, right? Okay, it's 7 p.m., 7 a.m., sorry. That means I've got to walk my dog, right? Whatever it is in your schedule. And the way to plan this out as well is... There are certain tools and tricks that, are, that make this a lot easier, right? And one of them for me is Google Calendar, right? In Google Calendar, you can literally get your timetable out. You can let your, your calendar out and put it on like week mode or like day mode or whatever it is, right? And you can click and drag across the times and enter your daily activity that you want to do at that time, right? And you can plan out your entire day exactly how you want it to do, right? And you can change things around and shuffle things around and, and you know write notes in there and things like that and spend a good amount of time doing this because it's worth doing because this plan is something you might follow for a, a good amount of time in the future right so you want to think about it very deeply okay what can i actually achieve here right what time could I fall asleep by? What time could I wake up by? What's most convenient for me? What do I have to do at this time? I have to go to work at this time. I have to walk this person at this time, or I have to meet this person at this time. Whatever it is, you know your life best. You know what you can do best, right? You know what you need to do, what you want to do. So plan your day out like that. And you're not beholden to it forever. You can edit it as you go along. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to spend like inordinate amounts of time trying to perfect this. Just spend maybe an hour planning your daily routine, right? And what that might look like and what changes there might be day to day or, you know, in the week, right? Maybe a Sunday looks different to a Monday for you, right? That might be the case. And every now and then you might change it, right? You know what, this isn't working for me. I'm gonna, for April, I'm gonna make it a different schedule, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna put the walk later in the day, right? I don't like morning walks. I do it better when I'm doing it later in the day, right? Whatever it is, whatever change you need to make, make that change, right? And so it's not complicated, right? You set a schedule, know what you're doing for every hour of the day. And if you want to get really specific, every minute of the day. Right? So fill your time with activities that you know you are going to do, right? And have buffer periods, right? Like have an hour here, an hour there, like, okay, this is free time. I'm either gonna spend it with my family or go for a walk or, you know, go see friends. Like a, a time of like leisure time, whatever it is, right? That might be a category of stuff that you can do, right? So it doesn't need to be complicated. But it means that you don't waste time in the day. I know in my life that I've wasted a lot of time because I just didn't plan things. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. And, you know, it just goes to the wayside. 
time goes down the drain. The time goes to Instagram, the time goes to TikTok, the time goes to like somewhere where you can't reap the rewards of your efforts, right? It just goes down the drain to some, some company that, that doesn't care about you, right? So to win at life, to gain success and be productive and to be a winner in your own life, plan your day and stick to it with a religious fever, right? With a meticulous attitude, with a military, how do you call this? A military, a military strictness, right? And trust me, as, as unpleasant as that sounds, this makes things a whole lot easier to do, right? It makes things a whole lot easier for you to accomplish in life, right? All I have to do is do exactly what my past self has planned for me to do. That is it. I don't need to think, I just do it, right? It's almost as, as mindless as a military soldier. Like, it seems unpleasant. It seems like you're just following orders, you're just going along with what things need to be done. But that's exactly what life is about. Life is about a level of discipline, right? In planning your day so much that you no longer need discipline, right? Discipline leads to success. Yes, that's true, right? Discipline is the act of doing something that you don't necessarily want to do, right? To generalize it a little bit there, right? The act of doing something you don't want to do. Yes, discipline leads to success, but only insofar as the discipline to plan the day so far that you don't need the discipline anymore. You can just rely on the plan. That's where the discipline... That's where the discipline comes in, right? A lot of people like to think of me as a very disciplined person. I'm only disciplined when I'm making the plan. Then after that, I make it. I make the plan so good, I don't need discipline ever again. Because discipline, willpower, things like this, these are a finite resource. They run out. And when you run out of energy, when you run out of willpower, you won't have that. And so you need to make your systems reliable. Make your systems work for you, right? And that's how you win at life. So if you want success in life, I guarantee that this method will help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. I'll see you in a bit. Take care.